Chapter 2 The Science of Love Text 2 Love at First Smell Objectives By the end of the lesson, you will be able to Identify the main idea in the text Locate the specific idea in the text Distinguish between general and specific idea in the text Use reading strategy previewing in the text Chapter 2 The Science of Love Text 2 Love at First Smell Reading Strategy Previewing To get a general idea, we will preview the text to know that what is the text about. You have to read the title or subtitle if any, look at any photos, graphs or charts, read the first sentence of all given paragraphs, read the last sentence of the text. Chapter 2 The Science of Love Text 2 Love at First Smell by Paul Carey in order to preview the given text, underline the title, the first sentence of each paragraph is above, and the last sentence of the text. You can also underline the numbers, names, and examples if any. What do you think this text is about? Chapter 2. The Science of Love. Text 2. Love at First Smell. The first sentence of paragraph 1. We may all think that people choose their perfect partners based on their appearance, personality, or even the size of their wallet. But the research on how we choose a mate by a Welsh expert reveals the key to finding a soulmate is the way he or she smells. First sentence of paragraph 2. Professor Tim Jacob is the head of the Smell Research Laboratory in the School of Biosciences at Cardiff University. First sentence of paragraph 3. Professor Jacob claims the phenomena is nature's way of ensuring or guaranteeing that children are born with the strongest immune system possible to fight of disease. The fourth sentence of paragraph 4. And when it comes to finding the husband or wife, the research reveals that opposites do attract. Fourth sentence of paragraph 5. This is a subtle smell. It's not the sweaty body odor someone has after doing hard manual labor for a few days without washing, Jacobs said. Fourth sentence of paragraph 6. In a review com commissioned by the medicine manufacturer Suda Feds, Professor Jacob has found that every person is born with a certain odor type which is dependent on his or her immune type or immunogenic status. Fourth sentence of paragraph 7. Professor Jacob said, there are thousands of different immune and odor type, but rather than seek out people with a similar smell, humans prefer to bond with people who have a different odor type. Fourth sentence of paragraph 8. Research has shown that women prefer male odors that are different from their own genetic makeup. The smell from men with the same genetic makeup is found to be unpleasant. Fourth sentence of paragraph 9. Marriages between people with similar genetic makeup are not as frequent as expected and a high degree of genetic similarity between parents could even increase the chances of miscarriage. First sentence of paragraph 10. Diversity is key nature is trying to bring together two people who will provide immune diversity to their offspring. Therefore, the child will have the benefit of both parents and increase disease resistance, Jacob said. Fourth sentence of paragraph 11. Professor Jacob added, Smell is the most underrated of the major senses. Fourth sentence of paragraph 12. Odor types are not the same as pheromones, which some believes play an important role in social and chemical interaction. Fourth sentence of paragraph 13. Sniffer dogs use odor types to distinguish individuals. Fourth sentence of paragraph 14. Unlike any of the other senses, smell has direct access to the more primitive or basic parts of the brain. First sentence of paragraph 15. The main source of human odor is the porcine glands or sweat glands. First sentence of paragraph 16. When they kiss, people are also tasting the other person's odor type, which in turn will help determine whether the person is the perfect mate. First sentence of paragraph 17. A smell can trigger memories, evoke disgust, pleasure, or change our mood. First sentence of paragraph 18. Even the type of perfume a person wears says more about him or her than previously thought. First sentence of paragraph 19. If a group of people is offered a selection of different perfume ingredients, such as woody of floral tones, 
those with the same immune types will prefer the same type of perfume ingredients according to professor jacob fourth sentence of paragraph 20 what we are doing in choosing a certain perfume ingredient is advertising our immune types to others our potential partners jacob added fourth sentence of paragraph 21 which is the last sentence as well of the text we are now beginning to understand the mechanisms by which smell can influence our first impressions of potential partners chapter 2 the science of love text 2 love at first smell vocabulary check phenomena an occurrence or fact that can be perceived by the senses inherent existing as an essential part of to bond to grow close to pheromones substances produced by animals that produce a response from other members of that species to trigger to cause to set off chapter 2 the science of love text 2 love at first smell so the answer of the question asked during previewing what is the text about the text is about smell and odor in influencing the first impression of potential partners based on the reading of the text answer the questions that follow where does professor tim jacob work the answer is professor tim jacob is the head of the smell research laboratory cardiff university what does he claim answer is he claims that it is nature's way of birth with the strongest immune system what is immune type answer is immune type is the body's own defense mechanism decide the given statements are true or false the main source of human odor is the porcine glands this statement is true people with same immune type prefer the same perform this statement is also true this is the end of chapter 2 text 2 thank you